Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss uh, some of the mistakes that could happen during EMR. And I'm going to use one of my cases that I did recently. It was a little bit difficult case. Patient was morbidly obese with a large flat polyp that's involving, as you see here, more than a third of the circumference in the right side of the colon. The positioning was not that easy, and I had to use pressure in order to get in a good position. Now we are injecting uh, the upper part of the lesion, and it's injecting nicely. In retrospect, I would have just stopped here and removed that part. But I was a little bit greedy and I kept injecting more and more. And as you can see here, we injected the whole lesion. And in an attempt maybe to do um, resection of most of the lesion in, 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 in one piece, which I don't think it was a good idea because of the shape of the lesion. It's a C-shape and the more you inject, you are creating a valley in the middle. And that's what exactly happened here. When I'm trying to close the snare, I cannot get the middle part of the lesion because it is within this valley. The second mistake that I kept cutting in spite of seeing that, hoping that I can remove as much as I can. So see what happened here. We got the proximal part or the upper part of the lesion. The middle part is still there. Little bit of the last part. This does not look like so far a good EMR. So uh, if a situation like that happen and can happen to any one of us, you just have to keep going, do a piecemeal perpectomy, try to remove the second piece, and try to get as much as you can. So I tried that second piece now longitudinally, it didn't work, so we went uh, uh, horizontally. Uh, the scope was a little bit far away, so we applied some pressure, and I'm going to advance the scope closer to the polyp. Certainly, you do not want to cut when you're that far away. You have to be a little bit closer and see what you're doing when you are doing polypectomy and applying cautery. Um, after I remove the second piece, we'll inspect the base of the EMR again. And it looks like we still have large part of the lesion there. So that's our third piece now. We're focusing to get everything together in one piece. And we're also focusing in getting some of the clear margin, like some of the normal healthy tissue to ensure clear margin of the polypectomy. Uh, it looks like finally we got a good grasp of the lesion and we're moving most of it in the third piece. And after removing it, we're going to inspect the bed of the polypectomy, ensuring that there is no perforation, no blood vessels, or, and also there's no residual lesion. So now we'll do argon plasma coagulation of the edge of the lesion to decrease the risk of recurrence. So the lesson learned from this case, if you are planning for piecemeal polypectomy, it's better to inject piece by piece and avoid injecting the whole lesion at one time to prevent the formation of valleys that will make EMR difficult after that. Thank you.